Hmm. Are we live now? Hello, everybody. Thank you for um, joining us on this uh, live Facebook broadcast. Just a few things to update you on. Uh, but anyway, thank you for joining. Uh, you know how much um, I don't like doing these because I get shy. Um, and you know how shy and embarrassed I generally get. I don't like doing these, but anyway, it's necessary so you can get an update. Um, firstly, I really want to talk about some of the questions that people have been throwing at me. And boy, oh boy, do we get hundreds of questions. So bear with us while we try and answer them all. One of the common ones is other MLMs. Look, I will categorically tell you again and again and again. I, we here have no issue with you being in any other business. We are in a new generation of sales. We are in a new generation of business. You know, I want to support people to make an income. And if that means that making an income means that you're involved in something else as well, well, that's absolutely fine, whereas as far as we're concerned. Now, your other organizations may not agree with that, so be clear on their rules and regulations. The great thing about being a brand new organization is that we can make the rules and regulations and we can change the rules and regu regulations there is no bureaucracy there is no red tape which is why i can make it very clear that i have absolutely zero issue with anybody doing anything else now i know you'll be told time and time again that you can't you you you, you can't run two businesses um you need to concentrate on one Do you know that's not my decision it's not anybody's decision. Don't let anybody tell you that. You decide that. You know, if you can't decide that, then I don't know really what to say. You decide what you can do. You decide when you want to do it. You decide what business you want to operate. And you decide how you want to do it. That's what the people's business is about. It's about supporting you to do what you want to do. We will not now or ever have that restriction upon you. So um, I've hopefully made that very, very clear. The other great thing about being a brand new organization and making the rules ourselves, is we don't have that big corporation bureaucracy. You know, size, believe it or not, isn't everything. Um, people talk about the size of their company, the size of their billion dollar organization. No one cares about your size. No one cares. Your customers don't care. Do you know what? All your customers care about is how much you care and the service you deliver. And that can be from a business that's just started or a multi-billion pound business. It matters not one jot. Size today is absolutely irrelevant. So being a brand new company, starting small like I told you that we would, to grow from that point, gives us the opportunity to be flexible, to make changes, to not be burdened with corporate rules and regulations. And one of those is, you know, regularly listening to your feedback. Now, let me make it very clear. We can't just change things because a handful of people don't like something. We can't just have a kangaroo court uh, environment where people moan and we just suddenly change something. You know, we have to make informed decisions and we have to make those very carefully. But we're still not bound by those ridiculous corporate organizations, bureaucracy and red tapes. So for example, you know, we, we started with a delivery company called Yodel. I don't want to say anything about them because that wouldn't be professional. Listen to your feedback and although it's only been a week, um, but the great thing about being a brand new startup and having that flexibility and being made decisions just like that means that we've been able to change company already. So we're now working with a company called DPD. You may have heard of them. Okay, so some of, some of you may not like them. Some of you may, but I'm not going to have a kangaroo court situation. We changed for logistical reasons. Listen to your mass feedback. Nothing against Yodel, but we're now with a company called DBD. Sorry, DPD. 
it would help if I had my notes, wouldn't it really? But DPD, and the great thing is, they will inform you also by text message that your order is due, and that will give you your tracking numbers and everything. So as of today, we'll be using a company called DPD to do your deliveries. And the reason I'm telling you that is A, because there's a logistical change, and I did say it was Yodel last week, but the great thing is, it shows you with what ease we can change things. We didn't have to present it to a board, we didn't have to w w listen to some somebody higher up to give that decision or make a decision or make that call. We decided right in here and in a matter of hours made that decision to change. Now that is one of the fantastic, beautiful things that we can do being a small new organization. There is no huge board structure. There is no huge hierarchy. We make the decision to suit the business. And I always want you to remember that. Anything we decide, anything that we do, any changes we make will always be to suit the people's business. So if it meant that Yodel weren't appropriate for us today, it was easy to change. We've done it and we've already with a new carrier. So that's really important for a business like ours that we can make decisions as quick as that, listen to your feedback and make those changes. Obviously don't think we can do that with everything. And please don't think that if you shout loud enough, we can just change things. That's not the environment we're in. We have to do things that suit the majority of people. So if it can suit the majority of people, it's good for business. And if it's good for business, it's good for all of us. You know, I said to you a long time ago, there is absolutely no way we can please everyone all of the time. That is a futile thing to even try. But if we can please most of the people, most of the time, then we will definitely, definitely be on track. I mentioned just the other day that, you know, we, there will be a first um, national people's conference. Um, I haven't got that date for you. It probably won't be this year. It'll be very, very, very early next year. And I want it to be a celebration. You know, some of you have already um, put the catalogs out. You're already getting sales. We've got plenty to celebrate. And by the time we have our first business a people's business conference or whatever we want to call it, it will be a celebration. It won't just be people preaching from stage, it will be celebrating the people that made the business work, the pioneers in particular who helped us right from the beginning. They will have precedence at that event. It will be an event about them, about the business, about the people. And that's how I want our events to be. Not stiff corporate structures, not that we've ever had those before, but I really want our events to always be a celebration. So I look forward to seeing you all at that event whenever it's going to be and I'll let you have those details and we will make it probably the greatest event that any of us have ever been to because it will be good people talking about good things. Um, and you know, the more good people talking about good things that we get into the business, the greater this business is going to be. It is the people's business and I will continue to do everything possible to fortify that belief that it is all about people. It's always been about people and it will always be about that most important commodity and that is people, whether it's your customers or whether it's you. Again, being so small and such a brand new start, remember everything we're doing at the moment is in this interim period. It's almost like that period between Christmas and New Year where nothing defined, nothing, nothing, nobody really knows what to do, but it's still all going on. Waiting for the excitement of the New Year after having the incredible launch, which is was almost like Christmas when we launched. So in this interim period, anything you're seeing, you know, whether it's the ordering site or anything Anything logistical like that is going to have its challenges, which is great to get the mind out, 
before we have our Christmas catalog launch in August, a date that I'm still yet to give you, in line with, of course, the Emlyn model of the business. Um, and up to then, up to then, in this interim period, you know, it's a great time to, as I've said to you before, re-engage your customers, make some money, and um, you know, get back to doing what we're all good at, and that's connecting and communicating with people. And you've been doing that. You know, we've got some great success stories already, and we've barely started. It's hard to believe that it's only been four weeks ago when we launched this whole project the entire idea. And it was only 48 hours before that, that we'd even registered the company. So what we have collectively achieved in such a small period of time is phenomenal. If you think we launched on the 8th of June, and today we already have people making money. Uh, and, and, you know, always bear that in mind. Every time you see a roadblock or, a, or an obstruction or a challenge within the business, just remember, that's the speed by which we have collectively, that's you and us here, have got to where we are. Um, 8th of June, we launched it. Week commencing 12th of July, we already have people making money. And even more important, we have customers telling you they're glad to see you back. And there can't be anything more heartwarming than that to celebrate what we call a people's business. And that epitomizes what we have, that what you're doing and what we're doing is connecting with the customers and people are making money. The more people that make money and change their lives, the greater this business will grow. And um, even though I've said it's not about size, it's about quality. And that's really what I want to concentrate on over the coming weeks, getting that quality right and growing at a pace which is all convenient to us and growing with a, pay, with a pace that builds that foundation stronger and stronger. You know, and again, that scale allows me to just throw at you little competitions every now and again. Like for example, anybody who's placed a cumulative order of 150 pounds up to next Wednesday um, by 3 p.m., will go into just a small draw. I'll do the draw live on Facebook, and the first five people I pull out will each win 100 pounds each. Now, that's not the biggest competition in the world, but you know what? It just shows that we can do anything, and there will come a time when I'll be giving you competitions, and it won't be 100 pounds, it won't be 500 pounds, but we'll have thousand pound prizes. We'll have bigger prizes than that. But isn't it just fantastic in these nurturing interim days just to say to you, anyone who's placed an order and continues to place cumulative orders of 150 pounds by 3 p.m. next Wednesday, we'll do a live draw. First people, I first five people pull out, we'll each get 100 pounds. Simple as that. That will grow. It's just to show you that we can almost structure this and do anything that we want, anything that works for the people. And, you know, if we can carry on doing that, we will have what very few other people and organizations have ever managed. And that is, in its truest sense of the word, a people's business, which is all I've ever wanted. So we'll give you more details of that in a write-up, which you'll get today. So don't worry about writing anything down or asking a further million questions. We'll put that in writing so you have an email exactly what you need to do for that very small competition. But just an example how very small competitions will grow into huge competitions. Um, look, we've already got one million pounds worth of stock ready to ship out to you. We've already accumulated exactly one or thereabouts, one million pounds worth of stock that's going to go out to your business, to your customers and ultimately make you money. And if you think about it, if it's one million, even in our commission model, at 35% commission, that's a hell of a lot of money being earned by individuals. I'd love to tell you what 35% of uh, 1 million is, but my brain doesn't work that fast. Anyway, the point is, there's a million pounds worth 
ready to go out. Now you might be thinking, well, a million pound isn't a great deal, or you might be thinking it's a huge deal. It doesn't matter. The point is, there's a million and it's ready to go, and we only started on the 8th of June, and your orders are already coming in. So the point isn't about scale, it's really about speed, and hopefully that quality is to come. So one million pounds worth of stock, ready to go out. Now in the scheme of huge companies, that's not a great deal. I'm sure some companies say, oh, well, my company has 10 million. Well, you can keep your 10 million. We're starting small and we're going to try and do this properly and we're going to do it for the people. So that, that's not a number that I'm boasting about. I'm just saying that's where we are in the short period of time that we've worked together. And we really have worked together. Not only have I worked with my fellow directors and staff here in this organization, but with you guys. Many of you have been supportive throughout. In fact, you've all been supportive, but so many of you have added your advice and um, often advice I didn't want, but nevertheless, we listened anyway. <laughs> but you've given your advice and you've been supportive and we've worked together and that's really important to remember that. I remember saying to you that, you know, we're going to have some social selling products soon. The idea of a social selling product, again, we can do this. We can, we, we can do almost anything we want as long as we can source the products. Um, you know, social selling product is sometimes something that's either a brilliant price or irrelevant to pricing, something that's quite unique that will get your online customer's attention. These aren't things that often can go in catalogs and the reason they can't go in catalogs is because sometimes it's just a small supply of them. And what we don't want to do is put something in a catalog that's got a small supply and it runs out. Now we've all been there before, we really don't want to get into that or even talk about that. So often we're going to find social selling products for you. In the past they were known as internet specials. Again, we'll send you more details about that today. But let me give you an example of what I regard as a social selling product that could potentially sell today. And as if by magic, he has a product here. This is called, they won't all be chemicals, just that I had a chemical at hand. We will be sourcing all kinds of things. This is called a fabric and soft furnishings protector with UV protection shield. Now, this is an amazing product. It, it does what it says. I'm not allowed to use that phrase, but it does do what it says on the tin, even though it's actually a plastic bottle. Um, what that does, in the weather that we've been having, and typically we're not having it today, we're not here anyway, um, but the weather we ha we've been having and will continue to have over the next couple of months, um, much uh, furniture and things in conservatories, conservatories and in caravans in some cases gets damaged by the sun. This is a fantastic sun protector. It stops your uh, furnishings getting bleached by the sun. But not only that, it actually protects your furniture and your soft furnishings from spillages and so on. And I know there's many on the market, but with the right write-up and the right pictures, that would be a fantastic social selling product. So we'll give you more details about that. We'll test this one out in the next 24 hours or so. So we'll make this one live um, and let's see how it works. Of course, like I said, I can't put this in the catalog because the supply of it may not be phenomenal. Um, and anyway, the, the, the point is, it, it's a very summary product. It's for right now, it's while the sun is out, and burning all your soft furnishings, and it's a get great protection as well. So we'll give you the price um, and the commission, and as you know, on internet sales, it's a slightly different commission, but we'll let you know that as well, and how to sell it. What you really want is images, high resolution images, a great write-up, and let's see how it just sells on social media. So those are what we're going to call the social selling products. And soon we'll have a platform of them where we'll have a continuous dynamic supply of them. And they will be products that when they're gone, they're really gone. You know, small supplies of things. And when I mean small supplies, supplies that probably last no more than 24 hours in some cases, quick in and quick out. Um, and, and those kind of products are what you can call trending products in some cases, but I prefer to call them social selling products. The Viva online social selling products. You can see I'm making the names up and going along, but you know you get the gist. So they're kind of unique products 
that have a selling cycle and in particularly in this particularly in this case whilst the weather is really that beaming down and that hot. It will protect your soft furnishings from bleaching of the sun, uh, whether it's in caravans or in your conservatories, and certainly as a fabric and soft furnishings protection in general. I'm no QVC um, seller, but you know, hopefully you get the gist of what that product is. And we'll, we'll give you details about. And as I said to you, before the end of July, I want an entire platform of those products where you can take the high resolution images and the descriptions and then you can sell them through your groups and through your social media platforms I think it's a fantastic way to sell it is a leg of the business that we really need to concentrate on we saw it a little bit in our previous business and many of you already do that now with products from the catalog that's fine well these will be a, spe a very specific set of products not just cleaning products that's just one we're starting off with but a whole range of products and we'll try and get as many trending products in there uh, that we possibly can so it's been um, another roller coaster of a week your support through all this has been phenomenal. One of the things that I really enjoyed watching is, you know, when some of you ask questions um, on social media that other people jump in with the answers. That's what I call a collaborative environment. And that's very rare in business that we have a collaborative environment where somebody is helping somebody when they don't even have a vested interest. You know, that is an ideal environment to be in, that you're supporting people that you don't even have any kind of in any kind of vested interest in. Now, if we do that more and more, that again epitomizes this idea of having a people's business, that you can actually help someone who means bugger all to your business. That is a brilliant place to be in. So try and do that as much as possible. You know, keep the negativity off social media. You know, the things that you may write there, whether it's about the business or somebody else's business or somebody else's unethical behavior still gets noted for you. And things you write on social media get noted forever. So try and stay away from that. Try and stay away from those negative people that say those kind of things. Um, and certainly don't respond to it. If you respond, then you're tarred with the same brush. And social media is a very critical place to be because once you're tired of that brush it's very difficult to lose that and you've seen that happen over the last few months with various people let's not be that business let's be the people's business that believes in people works with people collaborates with people and is all about people and we'll prove that when we have our first ever national people's conference where we, it will simply be a celebration of the people that put us here where we are today. A celebration of what's best about our industry, a celebration about network marketing, a celebration of MLM in general, a celebration of the fact that when people collaborate together and, and, and they're positive together, that almost any mountain can be scaled and anything can be achieved. You know, I don't want to talk too much um, about the magic of the situation because yes, there is a certain air of magic, but you know, it's really more to do with individuals having that collaboration and working together. And that's all this has been, right from the beginning, from the unfortunate start to the year, to where we are now, it's been nothing more than a massive collaboration of the right people. And ultimately, we've now ended in a situation where we have a company with growing numbers, which are set to grow even more with, dare I say it, the right people, the right positive people. What a brilliant place to be. You know, the business that we've always wanted, the right positive people doing the right positive things, collaborating with each other, collaborating with us, and creating an organization which I kid you not, will be the envy of the entire industry. Scale doesn't matter, we'll scale that. Today, the size that we are, we can make changes, like we've switched to DPD to do your deliveries, like we just throw competitions at you, like I can just 
pick a product off the shelf and say, hey, let's try and sell this on social selling platforms. We can do things like that. I'm just glad I grabbed the right one. Anyway, that's enough for now. We'll do a live competition next week, on Thursday midday. I know the prize isn't huge, but you know what? It's a beginning. So just to reiterate that, we'll put it in writing later today. Any cumulative order that we've had will be taken into consideration. Any cumulative orders that are coming until three o'clock next Wednesday will entirely go into a draw, which we'll do at midday. And let's um, and pick out some winners, five winners at £100 each. Anyway, that's about all I've got for you today. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Um, you know, stay positive and stay collaborative and uh, we're going to get there. And I repeat my closing line to you, which we will become the envy of so many organizations that want to be us, but they just can't. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.